Good morning. It's the 13th of August and we're going to read together Psalm 45 this morning. Let's hear what the psalmist has to say. Beautiful words stir my heart. I will recite a lovely poem about the king. For my tongue is like the pen of a skillful poet. You are the most handsome of all. Gracious words stream from your lips. God himself has blessed you forever. Put on your sword, O mighty warrior. You are so glorious, so majestic. In your majesty, you ride out to victory, defending truth, humility and justice. Go forth to perform awe-inspiring deeds. Your enemies are sharp. Your arrows are sharp, piercing your enemies' hearts. The nations fall beneath your feet. Your throne, O God, endures forever and ever. You rule with a scepter of justice. You love justice and hate evil. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you, pouring out the oil of joy on you and more than anyone else. Myrrhs and aloe and cassia perfumes, your robes, and ivory palaces, the music of strings, entertained you. King's daughters are among your noble women. At your right side stands the queen, wearing jewellery of finest gold and ophir. Listen to me, O royal daughter. Take heart to what I say. Forget your people and your family far away, for your royal husband delights in your beauty. Honour him, for he is your Lord. The Prince of Tyre will shower you with gifts. The wealthy will beg your favour. The bride, a princess, looks glorious in her golden gown. In her beautiful robes, she, she is led to the king, accompanied by her bridesmaids. What a joyful and enthusiastic procession as they enter the king's palace. Your sons will become kings like fathers. You make them rulers over many lands. I will bring honour to your name in every generation. Therefore, the nations will praise you forever and ever. Amen. A different sort of psalm this morning, um, just as we read together Psalm 45. On, on the face of it, it's a psalm praising the king, whoever is ruling at that time talking about how strong and how mighty that king is and about all that the king has. Um, but again, as you read a psalm and as you read a psalm is writing to a king, you've got to read how else that might be seen as the psalmist actually writes it to God. Because in verse 6, he says, Your throne, O God, endures forever and ever. You rule with a scepter of justice. You, lo you love justice and hate evil. Um, hate evil. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you, pouring out the oil of joy in you and, and more than anyone else. There's there's so much in these psalms about um, God and about God's anointed one and about who rules. Um, so it's easy to see how, yeah, you know, one level you could say this is a, a psalm praising people, but you could also say, no, actually, this is a psalm praising God. This is actually a psalm talking about the relationship between God and his people. Because it talks about a royal daughter and being prepared uh, for a wedding. And if you think about the New Testament and what um, God, what Jesus says about a bride beautifully prepared for her husband. And even if you think about the second coming um, and, the, and the analogy that's placed there about a, a marriage ceremony. Uh, and it's just that sense of unity with God. And that comes through time and time again. So yes, it's a psalm about a king, but it's also a psalm about God. And that very last verse, I will bring honour to your name in every generation. Therefore, the nations will praise you forever and ever. Again, a psalm talking about, a verse talking about God. How, how every generation honours him and how every nation will praise him forever and ever. Um, so, yeah, it's, you know, the psalms sometimes we think of as, as simple songs or simple prayers. But when you start to dig into them, there's so much in them. Um, you can spend a week just going through a verse at a time and just taking it apart and looking at it and seeing what it means and what, what, what it means at the time, what it means to us now. But in everything, it's just remembering about the glory of God. So a simple message for this morning. Look at the last verse. I will give honour to your name in every generation. Therefore, the nations will praise you forever and ever. Let us remember to keep on praising God and thanking God. Even in the midst of a difficult and hard time, we have to keep praising God 
Um, he is God at the end of the day and he is the one who loves us and cares for us. So let's keep our eyes focused upon him and keep praising him each day. Let's pray about that. Father, thank you for your strength, your goodness, your glory. Lord, we can go on all day about your great attributes. But Father, we simply come to say thank you for all that you do and to give you glory and honour as God and Lord of all. Father, we do indeed praise you because you are the one who is worthy of praise. And Lord, we know that praise is about not just whenever we're feeling happy, but also whenever we're feeling sad and down. Because Lord, coming close to you, we know that you know us, you understand us, that you hear us. So Lord, today, if, the, if it's a hard day for someone, I just pray, Father, that they would be able to draw near to you and praise you. And in doing so, know your arms of comfort and peace around them, holding them fast. Lord, go with us this day, we pray. In Christ's name, amen. Thanks, folks. See you again tomorrow. God bless.